love sharing mom tips to make your life easier. I just got back from Publix and I want to do a full grocery haul with you guys and share some of my favorite snacks for my two toddlers. If you have toddlers like me, you know it's really hard to get them to eat their meals, but snacks they want 24 seven. I've done a lot of research and a lot of trial and error with my two kids to figure out what the best snacks are. And so I'll share all of those with you that I bought at the store today. And then I'll show you my pantry and my fridge as well for some of the ones that we already had on hand. First, I'll go through some of the other things I bought, not just for my toddlers, but the whole family. We're gonna make a few fun dishes this week. We've got um, some ingredients to do a mussels and linguine dish. So I got some pancetta, some linguine, some garlic, onion, see, some green onion, and got some yummy sourdough bread for dipping. When it comes to bread, I normally try to go for a whole wheat. This is, you know, just for a special dish. But I lately have been buying Dave's Killer Bread because it's delicious and I like just stumbled across it. It's whole wheat, tons of protein, it looked amazing. Today I looked at how much sugar is in that. I, I don't know how I missed this before, but I, I guess I just didn't really think about how much sugar would be in bread. But Dave's Killer Bread has a ton of added sugar in it. so. Maybe not the best like whole grain, whole wheat pick. Um, I'm gonna look at some of the others, but let me know if you guys have a, a whole wheat bread that your kids really like. Let's see, we also are doing a stir fry dish this week. I have some rice in the pantry. I got some chicken tenderloins, some vegetables, and some stir fry sauce for that one. Next up, the last meal um, I know for sure I'm gonna make this week is gonna be a balsamic chicken. I put a balsamic marinade on these and throw them on the grill. And then I'm going to do like a caprese salad with some of our fresh basil. And I do like a half a potato for everyone on that. Um, I am going to record that recipe, so I'll have it up on the channel later this week. Also, these little cherry tomatoes are great snacks for the kids. For the really little ones, like my one and a half year old, I like to quarter them. And then my three year old, I still usually half them. Um, just like you would grapes, but they love these as a fun little snack. Next up, we have some of my favorite breakfast foods for my kids. I love this Applegate turkey sausage links. I have tried a lot of turkey sausage links. These are so good. Another favorite are the um, Kodiak pancakes. They have a lot of protein in them. And my kids love these. They love them so much to eat them without any syrup or anything on them. So these are a good pick. I always like to have eggs, do those for breakfast every now and then, even though they're expensive right now. When I'm running short on time, I'll make them an egg in a coffee cup and just pop it in the microwave. Usually put a little shredded Mexican cheese on it. And some days I'll put that in a tortilla as well for a little breakfast burrito. Me and the kids are all really big fans of smoothies. So I always have a freezer full of frozen fruit. Got some spinach today, I had to re-up. And then I use Greek yogurt or peanut butter to add a little, um, something that's more filling. Um, I've got bananas too. So I make lots of smoothies. That's a great quick breakfast when we're running out the door. Then the last thing for breakfast I grabbed was a couple avocados. I like to get some at different stages of ripeness so I can use them at different times. Uh, these are great for making avocado toast in the morning or putting it on a bagel, anything like that. And my kids really like it. I didn't grab a lot of fruit this trip because I always already have a bunch in the fridge. We've got apples, oranges, grapes, and bananas. So just grab some more strawberries. Here's some random stuff you don't care about. We needed some more dishwasher detergent and I grabbed these bubbly sparkling waters. I need something to replace like soda. Like I want like a fun drink. So I'm gonna try these out. I've never tried them before. Okay, let's dive into the snacks. I'm sure this is the part you guys are most curious about. I am not like a registered dietitian or anything. I'm not, but I have done a lot of research in this space because my husband always gets upset when he sees a bunch of snacks and reads how much sugar there is in them and what am I thinking? And then I usually say something like, why don't you do the grocery shopping? Um, that's a story for a different day. I've done a lot of research on this. From what I can tell from other, you know, dietitians that work with kids, pediatric dietitians, is that what they're called? Everything I've read says you want a snack that has about two to three grams of protein to keep them nice and full two to three grams of fiber, and you want as little added sugar as possible. I think like under seven grams is ideal. 
uh, don't quote me on that number, but low added sugar. I really struggled to find cereal that meets all that re those requirements because cereal is just basically sugar. But I do like the um, Quaker brand cereal and my kids like it too. Usually you can find them with whatever kind of sweetener they like with honey or cinnamon. Um, and it's not bad. So it's got six grams of protein, which is awesome. Five grams of fiber, super good. Nine grams of added sugar. So sugar is still high as is most cereal, but um, I like this. Kind breakfast bars, I always buy these. I get a lot of different flavors for the kids and for me. They've got five grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and six grams of added sugar. There's six of these packs in a box, so they're easy to just throw in the diaper bag or take on the go, and it's a good filling snack. Staying in the bars category, we have not tried these yet, but my kids like the Kodiak uh, pancakes so much that I thought they would like these too. They're really similar to those chocolate chip like chewy bars and my kids love those, but those have a lot of sugar and not a lot of anything else. Um, so we're gonna try these. You know what else I've realized? I was um, gonna pick up some fig bars for the kids and my toddlers really, really like fig bars and I used to buy them all the time. It's been a while since we've had any in the house, but I looked at the nutrition label this go round go round, go round, and it said something like 19 grams of added sugar in them. It was an absurd number, so I probably won't be buying those anymore even though the kids really like them. That one might be crossed off the list. These, I just started buying the last few times I went to the grocery store and my kids have liked these a lot. They come in a few flavors. These muffin bars are really, really soft. So this is two grams of protein, four grams of fiber, and six grams of added sugar. This is the crowd favorite, the number one snack there is. My kids could eat a million of these a day if I let them. Love go-go squeeze. I love that these don't need to be refrigerated. That's awesome, especially for car trips and traveling and whatnot. These do not have protein, but they also don't have added sugar, which is nice. The only sugar is from the actual fruit, and they're three grams of fiber. So not a bad snack. I like these a lot. I do want to show you Go Go Squeeze also makes uh, these ones. It's called the Go Go Squeeze Morning Smoothie. It's a blend of yogurt, fruits, and oats. Um, so these have three grams of protein, one gram of fiber, and three grams of sugar. And my oldest, my three and a half year old, doesn't love these, but my one and a half year old goes nuts for this. So I think these are pretty good. You should try these out. These are also shelf stable, so you don't have to refrigerate them. So. These are an old school favorite. Some um, Baby Bell, <laughs> Baby Bell, Baby Bell cheese wheels. These are just the original flavor. They have five grams of protein, no sugar, no fiber, but great protein source. I love these. My kids love the novelty that they're in the wax and they have a cute little circle shape, and this is a good one. So these Sargento Balance Breaks, they come in a ton of different varieties. I love, 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 love these as a snack. It's really annoying because they're expensive for just like a three pack. So I don't buy these all the time, but I really like having them for on the go. There is eight grams of protein, no added sugar, and two grams of fiber. So I'll show you what one of these looks like here. It's just this cute little pack. It's filled with little cheeses and Triscuits. And it's just the perfect size to throw in the diaper bag and take on the go with you for a good filling snack. And the last snack I got, something that's just, you know, crunchy and delicious. I love these popcorners. They just have sea salt seasoning on them. There are other flavors, but this is still my favorite. They're not super nutritious or anything. Two grams of protein, cool. Total sugars, nothing. Uh, dietary fiber is less than one gram, so not really any fiber in here, but they're crunchy, they're delicious. Um, great to eat with like hummus or something to add a little bit more nutrition to it. I really like these. So I'm gonna refill some of my existing snack trays in our pantry. I have these set on really low to the ground shelves so my kids can just go in and grab whatever they want. They still ask me before they eat it, but it's you know one thing less I have to do. Um, I just filled up on an Amazon order of Made Good. Um, I love these like granola minis. They have little granola bars. I love this brand. It's so great and it's got really good nutritional value. So love to keep these stocked up. 
Over here we've got some oatmeal and we've also got some lar bars left. Really like the lar bars. I try to get the ones that are like blueberry or apple versus um, ones that have chocolate in them. But another great filling snack. Let's see what the nutrition says. Three grams of fiber. No added sugar. Four grams of protein. So that's pretty good. And then I've got um, Quaker oatmeal packets in here too. And I do want to tell you, you know, not all of our snacks are perfect. We do have balance in our lives. We've got some fruit snacks, we've got some goldfish, things like that that have less nutritional value, but mix and match with something with more nutritional value, figure out what your balance is, what works for you. This is just what we like to eat over here. So that's everything from the grocery trip. I'm gonna go put the rest of this away. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you liked this, like, subscribe. There'll be many more videos coming. Thanks, guys.